Hey guys, John Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, and I want to talk about how to swing or how to hit with a wood bat. Now, there's two popular types of wood bats that are used in the Major League Baseball and also other levels, uh, but the two most popular are ash and maple. So I got one of each here, and there's a general rule about how to hit with a wood baseball bat, and that is swinging with the label up. But I want to go in a little bit further and talk about why we want to do that and if it's right for every bat that you're using because it's not okay so basically what you want to do this is an ash bat the difference between the ash and the maple is usually the grains are more uh, <clears throat> uniform less uh, I don't know how to describe it more noticeable less squiggly if you will uh, but the, the grains usually stand out more in the ash bat so that's one way to tell obviously hitting it the, the ash is going to be a little bit more flexible um, than the maple the maple's harder but as far as hitting goes with a ash bat, the reason why they say swing with the label up is because when you make contact, where you want to make contact on the bat is where all the grains are, like where all the lines are, okay? Basically, you want to think about this as that you don't want to hit where the ovals are, where the grains are going like this, okay? The way you want to think about that is like a deck of cards. If you're taking a deck of cards, and you're hitting in the middle, that those cards will bend in. But if you turn those cards on the side and you hit where all 52 are meeting up, it's going to be a lot harder. So that's the kind of theory behind hitting on this side of the bat. So if you're facing that label up to you, I actually like to tilt it. So if this label is up towards my face here, I actually like to take a little quarter of a turn towards the pitcher. This way, when I go to swing, I'm at a good spot and the label is up at contact, okay? So label up at contact is the real rule, okay? Label up at the face, see, right now my label's up at the face, or where I want it to be, and it's kind of off to the side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's not straight on at me. So it's not a quarter turn, but it's about an eighth of a turn away. So at contact, my label's gonna be up, okay? Now maple is the opposite you want to hit where the ovals are in the grains. So right here and here is where the ovals are on this bat. So I want to hit with the label, putting, hitting with the label up will put me into a good spot hitting that ball. So same thing goes. Now, some bat companies don't do this on their maple. This is a newer philosophy or theory with the maple bats. So they are still putting their labels on the lion side or the grain side. So you have to know, that's why I wanted to go in depth more, you have to be able to look at your maple bats and tell where the grains are and what side you're supposed to hit because it may not be a label up situation if the company's putting the label on the wrong side. Uh, in this case, Kissimmee Sticks, uh, they've got their labels on the right side. Uh, if you haven't checked out their bats, definitely go check them out and go get one. I love the ash. I'm an ash guy. But uh, that's how you hit with a wood baseball bat. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please leave comments, subscribe, and join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.